I receive uh, several emails a month that ask me one particular question. And when I'm out uh, performing or giving workshops and I take more than one theremin along with me so that other people can try it, people inevitably ask me one particular question. And that question is, do you need to know how to read music in order to play the theremin? If you've seen my Theremin Lessons website, there's a little bit of a treatise in there where I explain my position on this, and that is that it is unnecessary to learn to read music to play a theremin, with one exception, which I'll get to in a second. If you can whistle on key, if you can whistle a tune on pitch to any song that you like while you're listening to it, if you can tap the actual melody out, whatever that melody may be, if you can hum a tune singing, let's say, Happy Birthday, and keep on pitch, then you will probably be able to play a theremin pretty well. Popular songs, jazz, there's almost nothing that will be beyond your reach. And now comes the one exception. If you're someone who wants to learn to play classical music, let's say the swan, and who doesn't want to play the swan if you're a thereminist? It is a prerequisite that you learn to read music. The answer as to why is this. Regardless of how well you believe you know a given classical piece like the swan, regardless of how many times you believe you are hearing it correctly, or even attempting to play it correctly, I guarantee you when you get the score you will find differences, sometimes very small differences, but differences nonetheless. That's because there are sometimes mistakes on recordings that we listen to. Also, our ears think we're hearing notes that, truthfully, very often are being heard wrong, and there are actually other notes in the score itself. So. For classical music, learn to read the score. Get the score and really study it. If you have a keyboard, for myself, it always helps me to play the melody out on a keyboard first and really absorb what it is. You'll be surprised as you learn to read music just what you've been missing when you think you're hearing it correctly. So, that's my little diatribe on learning to read music. It's up to you.